Hi, my name is Vidya Nirkundar. EDA tools that work on discrete functions is typical on how the tools operate, but Tessin platform integrates the tools together and creates an RTL-based hierarchical flow that can be used in implementation of design for test DFT solutions. In this video, I will be providing information about how you can handle and test asynchronous sets or resets during ADPG, along with how to test hierarchical cores or blocks independent of other cores or blocks, even if they have a common reset source. This video is one of the series of Vidya's DFT architectural tips that will assist in different aspects that aid in DFT implementation. Majority of designs today have some type of asynchronous sets or resets. Uncontrollable sets or resets may sometimes have a huge impact on test coverage. Tessin can aid in automatically adding in the control logic. But first, the asynchronous sets or resets need to be identified. They can be identified using RTL or gate level design by using the command set underscore DFT underscore specification underscore requirements minus logic underscore test on. The pre-DFT DRC, DFT underscore C9, performs checks to identify if it is possible to control asynchronous sets or resets of scannable flops in the design. Sometimes, the asynchronous sets or resets need to be disabled during test. Tessent automatically inserts and the user has the option to control this override of these sets or resets with a test data register, TDR, that can be controlled via the IEEE 1687 network. The asynchronous sets or resets need to be disabled during shift, and during capture, the asynchronous sets or resets need to be tested. Here's a functional design where the asynchronous sets or resets are controlled from a primary input to the design. Pre-DFT DRC identifies such a asynchronous set or reset and uses the scan enable to disable them during shift. Internally generated asynchronous sets or resets also gets identified during pre-DFT DRC checks. A test data register controlled via IJDAG or IEEE 1687 is added to override the asynchronous sets or resets if necessary. Within a chip, there may be hierarchical physical layout regions with asynchronous sets or resets. Let us look at the case where the asynchronous sets or resets at the boundary of a physical layout region is connected directly from the chip level pin. This is shown in the design marked as functional design. If the set or reset is at a primary pin within the physical layout region, then a dedicated wrapper cell is inserted. This is done along with allowing the reset to be disabled during shift and tested during capture as described in the previous slide. The different modes in which how this reset is operational is described in this table. The control of the MUX select can be controlled via a TDR, test data register, that can be part of the IJTAG network. During functional mode of operation of the core, the control comes from the uppercase reset underscore N pin from the chip and is allowed to propagate into the core. During internal test mode of this core, the dedicated wrapper cell is used to test the asynchronous sets or resets logic. During external mode of operation of the core, the chip level uppercase reset underscore N pin has control over the reset line. This mechanism of providing local or at the core level reset control aids in testing multiple cores at different times by retargeting them separately, even though they may have the same top level set or reset control. Now let us look at another scenario where the chip level has physical layout regions. The set or reset control to the physical core comes from combinatorial logic at the chip. Sometimes there are flops at the chip level that are being fed by the chip level sets or resets. In either of these cases, additional logic needs to be added 
to have the chip level asynchronous set sorry sets disabled during shift and tested during capture also there is the override to the asynchronous sets or resets that can be controlled via the test data register if necessary. To summarize, the asynchronous sets or resets are identified via DRCs and TestSend helps to test these resets to improve test coverage. For hierarchical designs, TestSend automatically handles these asynchronous sets or resets so patterns can be retargeted independent of how these asynchronous sets or resets come from the next level or chip level. Thank you for watching this video. There are more videos on Vidya's architectural tips that aid in different DFT implementation aspects. The videos cover a variety of topics like Tessent integrated platform, capabilities for RTL based hierarchical implementation that are available as reference flows test cases, use of boundary scan in ATPG, use of on-chip clock controllers, just to name a few. Thank you.